Welcome to our presentation on bone formation by Nathan and Jubal. First, we're taking a look at the principles of foam. A foam is a medium that holds a collection of bubbles or cells. A bubble in a foam is a large volume of gas trapped within a small volume of a liquid or a solid. In liquid foams, the cells are closed off. In solid foams, the cells can be either opened or closed off. Foam nests provide protection and moisture for tadpoles during incubation. Foam nests are important in tropical environments where there is an oxygen depletion. The foam nests provide an oxygen-rich environment for developing eggs by supporting them on the surface of water. Sea foams are created by breaking waves. They cause the agitation of water, which allows the air to trap in water. The foam is relatively weak, however, the combination of sea foam and other impurities stabilise the foam and blow it inland. Now we're taking a look at the formation of wet foams. In order to generate a foam, the bubble, the generation of bubbles must be greater than the deterioration of bubbles. To work out how much work you need to do to generate foam, you would take the surface tension of the liquid and then times that by the change of area of the surface area. So how much foam you want to generate? One way of generating the bubbles is through dispersion from an orifice, so blowing air through a tube. First thing you have to take account is the buoyancy of a bubble, which has been calculated as shown here. And one force countering acting against it is the surface tension force. When the buoyancy of the buoyancy force of the bubble is greater than the surface tension force, the bubble um, detaches itself from the orifice and raises to the surface of the orifice where it create, generates foam. Metallic foams are recent discoveries. They have structures, they have cellular structures made from solid metals with large volumes of fractions of filled pores. Edible polymer foams are an example of industrial foam. Bread, sponge cake and chocolate mousse are all stabilised by surface active agents such as proteins, fats. Aqueous film forming foam are the most common foam extinguisher. It contains a foam concentrate which forms a thin aqueous film at the directed objects, which stuffs it from oxygen. Thank you for watching our presentation on foam formation.